Hey everybody, I'm Fanny Eastern. Um, so I was reading an article and um, it was actually about how to use um, a scratch board and I was thinking, I was writing and I put, well, we always want to make sure that our timing is right, our timing is spot on, the timing of the clicker is so important because the click sound is what's teaching our dog. And I kept harping about timing, but it's like I didn't ever really kind of explain what proper timing looks like or, or games to help you improve your timing. Um, and there's one that we play in class um, and I, I, I do this every, usually week one for puppy and basic class and it's called the hand game. Um, because many folks are just learning how to use a clicker. They've never used a clicker before. And it can get a little overwhelming, especially when you hear me going, make sure that your timing's right on. Um, and it's like, well, what do you mean? And how do I know? And when's the right moment? And, and, and all this good stuff so I play this game and it's called the hand game um, I'll pick up my hand and basically we're teaching my hand uh, we want to click every time my hands fully extended so it would be click all right and so I take my hand and I will just kind of practice open and closing my hand for you to practice with the clicking so I thought you know what well let me go ahead and just kind of do this for folks so they can have something to practice um, I do recommend doing this right before a training session especially if you're going to be teaching something a little bit more complex other than sit and down um, just to kind of get your timing right I mean think of it as stretching before you go running or walking um, as a dog trainer we're all guilty there's a few in this world that are just gifted clicker trainers. Their timing is spot on. The majority of us have to work at this. And it's just like anything. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Um, so if I haven't, uh, maybe it's been a week and I haven't been training a dog or I haven't had any classes, I could become a little rusty. So it just is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to practice the game. Um, I'm going to kind of show you and let you know when you should be clicking. And then I'll be silent. I know, believe it, I can be silent. And so you can practice without me coaching you. All right, so this is what it'll look like. Um, click, click, click. All right, then I'll show you using a clicker. And have you practice, your turn. Oh, not one one. It's fully extended. All right, so I hope that makes sense. You can actually, I mean, if you don't wanna look at this video and practice, you think it's goofy, that's no big deal, but hopefully you can uh, maybe even use this, this idea with a friend um, and they can kind of move their hand back and forth. Uh, but the whole thing is just to kind of get you used to uh, and getting your timing spot on. Um, I'd say this is probably for beginners. Um, so if you're, you're brand new to clickers, this is perfect for you. If you've, um, you're brand new to clickers, you've probably been using it maybe for a few weeks, or you're just not sure, start here with the hand game. And once you get better at it, I've put together some different um, um, games that you can play so you can improve your timing. So I hope that makes sense. All right, I'm Fanny Easter, and um, I'll see you around. Bye.